Welcome back to another edition of That Goat Metal Show. And with the weekly metal news, here is Barry. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry, That Goat Metal Show, with some news for the week, all right? First and foremost, I want to talk about the new single from Bruce Dickinson, all right? After Glow of Ragnarok, okay, uh, came out, video, nice video, you know, uh, has to do with that graphic novel he did. Now, as far as the song goes itself, um, I thought the song was good. It was, uh, you know, a lot of good heavy elements into it. I wasn't a fan of the chorus. I mean, I'm already getting some heat from my former drummer, Frank Glasgow, who's, you know, ah, yeah, look. I mean, I just felt like the chorus lacked what the rest of the song was bringing. You know, I mean, if you take, like I said, I, I, my two favorite albums is Accent of Birth and Chemical Wedding. If you take those two songs and you see how it builds up and it goes into the chorus, everything has a way of just going in. I just feel like, you know, the song gives you like this drive and then the chorus comes and it just kind of brings you down. And then, you know, it starts picking back up a bit and it brings you down again. I, I, I'm just, I'm sorry. You know, look, again, it's, it's a good, it's a good song, but the chorus doesn't do it for me. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just one of those. I'm sorry. The chorus does nothing for me. All right. And, and uh, also in the rounds of um, metal bands, we got Metal Church. The singer Mark Lopez went and he announced that uh, basically Metal Church is going to be doing a lot of touring, I guess, for 2024, because they were asking about that. And also he went and talked about the new album should be out at the end of 2024. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, that's that's pretty good for, for Metal Church fans. And I'm actually interested to hear how what they sound like, considering, you know, what happened, you know, with their singer passing away. Um, it would be interesting to hear some new stuff. Um, you know, they're a good band. Uh, they deserve to, to get some stuff out, and I'm looking forward to it. And also in local news, we got Martin Gonzo, legendary hardcore singer for Billy Club Sandwich, my son's godfather. <laughs> he is uh, involved in a new project called Brass Knuckle Brigade out of Jersey. Um, they just made, I guess they just, you know, made the announcement. They're doing promos and stuff like that, you know, to you know, talk about the band. So eventually we're going to, uh, I guess, hear some music, I guess, soon. And um, let's see what happens. You know, he already, you know, we already talked about, you know, maybe yours truly doing a track. Maybe we will. We'll see how it goes. All right. But that's what I got right now, guys. Let me go send it back to the silent producer, Rich, to see what's going on in his head. On February 17th, 2024, at the Brooklyn Monarch in Brooklyn, New York, Ghoul, Necrot, and Dead Heat will be part of the Brain Squeeze Tour. In vinyl re-releases, Killing Time, New York City hardcore band, has released Brightside, a one-time repress for 2023 on Triple B Records. The 2024 Metal and Beer Festival in Fillmore, Philadelphia will feature Biohazard, Deicide, Dying Fetus, Jesus Peace, Crowbar, Tomb Mole, Internal Bleeding, 200 Stat Wombs, Enforced, Terminal Nation, Lamp of Murmur, and plus many more. April 12th through the 13th, 2024. On December the 16th, New York Oi with the Templars live at the Meadows in Brooklyn. On Sunday, February the 18th, at the Bowery Electric, the return of Crazy Eddie. On the bill, the long wait featuring members of SSD, Slapshot, and the Wrecking Crew. This show is free in all ages. On Saturday, December the 30th, at the Rams Pub, Pyrexia with Immortal Suffering, with several others for a pre-New Year's Eve bash. The 2024 version of Milwaukee Metal Fest has added more bands with Mr. Bungle, Deicide, Death to All, Destruction, Marduk, Metal Church, Incantation, Posette, Profanatica, Skinless, Devourment, Cenotaph, Internal Bleeding, plus many more. Legendary German band Sodom has been approved to come to America with their visa. They will play MDF 2024. February 16th, 2024, at TVI, Brooklyn, New York, the return of grindcore band Escuela Grind with Take Offense and Brat. Here's a quick show announcement. On Friday, January the 12th, Shia Tero will be playing at the Meadows in Brooklyn, New York, 2024. Tune in to some upcoming videos. We'll be doing a Black Friday Record Store Day recap. 
Coming soon on that Goat Metal show, we'll be looking at Relapse Records' Merch Hole with Barry and the silent producer. There's an immersive experience and art pop-up with memorabilia show at the Light Box, 248 West 37th Street in Manhattan, New York, focusing on the band KISS, celebrating their end of the road tour running till December 3rd. Legendary rock band KISS played their final New York shows at Madison Square Garden. We'll be having footage of that live. Coming up later this week, we'll be having a review of the new Luna Chicks documentary titled Pretty Ugly, chronicling the history of the classic band. We'd like you to tune in and subscribe to Music of Destruction's YouTube channel. We will be doing a collaboration with New York Hardcore Part 2 soon. So tune in to the other channel. This Sith Lord is a metalhead for movie reviews. We will be doing a year-end roundup special soon. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And don't forget about this Sith Lord's merch on Facebook. Support the underground and tune in for more videos on that GOAT Metal Show.